Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'll show you two ways of finding distance between characters. The first way is through Blueprint and the next way is through C++ class. So let's get started. So this is a third person uh, map. This is a default map which we are going to uh, play around with. Let's play the game. So the character can run around in the game after uh, we create a default third person map. The, the next thing we need to do is we need to duplicate this third person character and let's name it BP AI character. Control save it then. So this is our default character now, or oh, uh, AI character. So let's drag and drop AI character here. Now we need to find a distance between this AI character and ourselves. So right now there's no nothing, the AI character just stands in the world. Now let's go to the third person character blueprint. Open the editor. And in the event tick, event tick is basically it keeps running every delta second. So first we, let's, uh, get player or, or maybe we can do get get uh, reference to self get a reference to self we find the actor location we get a vector 3 value now let's get all actors of class let the class be npc ai So it's basically this is the class, the class which we just created. That's BP underscore AI character. So we need to do BP underscore AI character. Let's get the first actor of it. And then let's get the actor location. So now we have two two vector values. One is the actor location of the uh, character, and the other is the actor location. The Unreal has a default. Uh, it has a default uh, distance. So let's use that. So this one is a distance vector. It takes in two vectors. So we we add two vectors to it, and then we get a float value, which we'll just print it out. And we have to rename this into the string. So it's uh, just this is just the functionality. So we get the actor location, we get uh, a PP AI character location, and then we just print it out. This gives you the distance between the two characters using the two vector values. So I'm running the game. You can see that the distance between me and the AI character is 1130 units. So as I move away from him, the distance keeps increasing, and if I move closer to him, it keeps decreasing. This happens in all directions. So if I move away from him in this direction, it keeps increasing. And if I move closer to him, this decreases in value. So once I get very close, so it's around 70. So this is how you find a distance between two vectors. Thank you. So that was the blueprint way of doing things. Uh, now let's look at how we can do with C way. So if we go to the header file here, this is our math in games character. So this is basically a third person's character's parent class. So if I click on this parent class button here, it just takes me directly to the C plus, uh, the header file of the class. So in the header file, we declare a function called void set distance. It should be a U function of type blueprint callable. And you should make sure it, it will be in the public public uh, of because it as it as U functions cannot be used as a private variable or a private function. So once you give that U function blueprint callable. So if you give it as a blueprint callable, that means you can call it from the blueprint class. So in this case from our third person character, we can directly call it from the blueprint uh, to the C++. So once you do that, you need to add a reference here saying that uh, a math in games character star dot cp and 
uh, add a header, add a character to it. So once you do that, let's go to our C++ class and here we use double distance and this is the method which which basically calculates the distance between two actors. So we'll do f vector distance, this get actor location, which basically gets this, but this keyword is basically, it refers to the classes keyword, that in this case it's math in games character. So this get location, get actor location and AI character get actor location, which is basically a parameter. So this parameter will be inserted as AI character. Once you do that, I'm printing it on the screen using add on screen debug message with a message distance between characters in C++ and I give the distance value. So if I go to my uh, blueprint class, I can, if I just type it out here, set distance, this blueprint callable function will be called and it will have a reference called the AI character, which basically we just attach it here and then uh, we attach this one here and then we can safely delete this now i'll compile and save this and then if i run we'll have another debug message so yellow yellow debug message is from the c++ class and the blue one is from the blueprint class so as they are, uh, you can see that they are both equal so if i go near to a character the distance decreases if i go away from him it keeps increasing Thank you. That's it for this video and uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.